guys, today we're going to be talking about Tahara Mafi's Shatter Me. Juliet has the power to kill you with her touch. She's been in isolation for two years when the reestablishment, the new government of the world, have plans to use her as a weapon. Juliet teams up with this guy and together they team up to fight for the freedom. I give this book 4.5 stars. It's written in Juliet's point of view. It's written sort of in a poetic way. I mean, some of the things that were written in this book were like mega crazy beautiful. What I really like about this book is that you really get inside Juliet's head. As I was reading it, I really felt like I was inside Juliet's head while she kept fighting this internal battle of whether she considered herself sane or not. And it was really, really interesting reading it in that perspective. like. Juliet's mind being all whacked up while trying to figure out whether she's sane or not. It was just, oh man, it was a really great book. I really enjoyed it. I want to slap myself silly because I don't know why I waited so long to pick this book up. And it's like, Dora, you've been missing out on a lot of things. That's the end of the non-spoiler section. And now let's forward on into the book talk. As I said before, we are really inside Juliet's mind and she's trying to figure out whether she's sane or not. We see Juliet fighting herself. She hasn't spoken a word to anybody at all. I feel like Juliet has some type of OCD maybe because she keeps counting. She, to calm herself, she has to count. You know, there's like four walls, 14 crags, and so da da days. So I do feel like Juliet has those moments. When Adam reveals that he can touch Juliet, I feel like I wasn't surprised at all because at some point someone was gonna be able to touch her. Because if nobody could touch her, especially not the guy she likes, I felt like that wouldn't, the whole story would have been centered on how these two people who love each other or like each other, whatever you wanna call it, would be able to touch to each other. Warner. What do I think about Warner? I think his character is really intense. He's cruel. I mean, the things he does to get her to unleash this ability that she has because they're trying to use her as a weapon. Like the scene in the hallway when Warner asks Jenkins to touch her, she's like, no, 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 no. You can't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. I mean, Jenkins, everybody in his bit, in this space, is afraid of Warner, so of course he's gonna follow commands. And he touches her, and I just wanted to stab Warner in the eyes. I'm gonna be like, Ugh. and when she takes her to the torture chamber, whatever, and there's this little kid, I was like, I even tweeted that part. I was like, shit just got real. Shit just got real. I was like, oh my gosh, Juliet, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. She had to do it because the spikes were everywhere and she had to save the child. If I had her power, I would have lost all dignity. I would have taken off my shirt, I would have used the shirt as a glove and taken the child to the other side. But no, Julie, it's like I only have my shirt and my shorts. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? After all of that was done, when she flew, when she broke through the wall and the glass, I was like, what? She's Hulk now too? Warner's just playing cruel. He's cruel. He, um, he's not my favorite character right now. When Adam and Juliet, when they escaped the bait, I felt like they escaped way too easily. We have Warner, who is cruel, merciless, and intense, and then we have Adam, who reminds me of a bunny. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, I mean, Warner would have taken him out. Oh my gosh, not one. But two people can touch Juliet now. Two people. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said, I wasn't surprised when Adam could touch her. I wasn't surprised when Adam found out that he was the only one who could touch her. But when I found, when I read that Warner could touch her too. Crap, 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 crap. This can't end good. When she first arrives in the reestablishment, Warner gives her hot food and clean clothes. She takes a shower, she puts on her dirty clothes again, and she refuses to eat her food, and now it's... Juliet! Eat your food. Wear the clean clothes. You can make your statement in some other way. 
But right now, girl, you're starving. You need your energy, okay? You need some comfortable clothes. But then I find out they're all just dresses. She's been in isolation for two years, and she only had two minute showers in the asylum. And it makes me wonder, um, she's wearing these dresses. Does she even bother to shave her legs? You know, or is she rocking it? Is she sporting that women leg hair? You know, it's like, look at me. I got woman leg hair with a dress. It's the new trend now. I just think about these weird things too. I also think about uh, like how unrealistic it is sometimes reading fiction because if the main character is female, they never talk about their period. It's like, how are you doing all this badass crap and you don't take a moment to say, I was gonna go kick some butt. But, you know, I got menstrual cramps right now. And by far, my favorite character is Kenji. He's super hilarious. When he starts hitting on Juliet and the, like, daggerize with a gun. That's two deadly combinations. In the end, I wasn't expecting it to turn supernatural. Like, I mean, what is this? Juliet has the power to kill you with her touch. She's super strong. She... She can rip through concrete. And then we have Kenji, who's Mr. Invisible Man. And then we have Brandon with the electrifying features. If I had to choose between Kenji or Juliet, I think I'd go with Kenji's power. I mean, can you imagine little old me playing hide and seek? I would never lose. I'd be victorious all the time. I think one of my best hiding spots would be to follow the person seeking me while I'm invisible. Keep looking, honey. You ain't gonna find me. Omega Point reminds me of District 13. How they built a little community underground to be able to rebel when they're ready to fight back. I'm really looking forward to reading Unravel Me to see what kind of other powers are in this book. Because, I mean, electricity, invisibility, and death seem like really weird powers right now that's all i really have for you guys today so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye beauty secrets with dorlanda i switched shampoos and for some reason my hair is touchable smooth with a lot of volume just wait two days it's gonna be flat like hell I'd be like, hey, voluminous. Girl, we were just playing you. By far right now, Kenji is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> He's... Stop crying. I am filming. Yeah. I am filming. How dare you interrupt me while I'm filming. Don't give me those big sad eyes. Oh, don't shake your head. I will kiss you to death.